7.53 a.m. this morning, um, following reports that there had been a shark incident at uh, Central Beach in Klettenberg Bay. Uh, on arriving on the scene, the NSRI launched a sea rescue craft. They recovered the body of a female from the water. Sadly, the 39-year-old female from Cape Town has been declared deceased. We are appealing to the public uh, to be cautious around the coastline in Klettenberg Bay, but also along the coastline of the Southern Cape. Mm. Now, Craig, of course, uh, you know, many questions around this particular incident. Do we know how far out into the sea she was? Um, I mean, also, what should people do when they then do spot a shark? I know that um, some of the beaches have been closed and that you are cautioning for people, of course, to, to take care. Yeah, so it has been determined that we believe that the lady was swimming in the sea at the time. Uh, her body was recovered from approximately 50 meters offshore. The incident itself is still under investigation, uh, but we are continuing to appeal to the public to exercise caution in and around the Klettenberg Bay coastline and the Southern Cape coastline because of an, an unusual increase in shark activity along that stretch of coastline. Mm. Uh, do you know how long uh, you know the beaches will be closed for? So the Beach Municipality has pretty much historically speaking the next few days. It's obviously impossible to prevent a person from entering the water. Um, physically impossible from preventing a person from entering the water mm. and hence the appeal is to the public to be cautious and preferably to not go into the water in the Plettenberg Bay area until Beto Municipality lift this uh, no swimming uh, 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 ban. Mm. You know, in June um, of this year, we know that, uh, you know, a man was also attacked uh, by a shark and uh, succumbed to his injuries more or less in the same area. And, and you obviously talk about unusual increase in these shark attacks. How worried are you as rescue services? So as a rescue service, look, it remains that a shark incident uh, is not that uh, uh, regular. Mm. Uh, we still appeal to the public to be more cautious about things like rip currents and uh, having safety around water, especially for your children. However, in light of these two incidents that have happened in a short space of time, we believe that the Beto municipality are investigating various options uh, to prevent incidents of this nature for the future. Mm. And in fact, uh, Craig, I don't know how much you can, you know, help us with, uh, with this understanding, but we do know that, in fact, the Bito Council approved in May, they approved research on a shark barrier at Central Beach. How much of these barriers will then, you know, um, aid in, in preventing such incidences from happening in the future? So the hopes are that they will aid in preventing an incident. Uh, but obviously, its research is also not only about uh, preventing an incident of this nature, but also preventing um, uh, other sea life from being affected by any type of barrier that they do put up uh, to prevent sharks from kind of coming too close inshore. So it, it is a, 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 scient a scientific toss-up between um, uh, what is uh, best for all concerned. Mm. And just finally, Craig, before we wrap up, how's the family doing? I would imagine um, that it is devastated. Are you in close contact with the family of uh, the woman that has departed? The, the family are in the care of counsellors at the moment. We believe a large family uh, that were in Petrobu Bay together uh, for another reason mm. uh, uh, attributed to, uh, to this incident. Um, but they are in the care of counsellors and understandably it's, it's extremely tragic mm. that this has happened um, for, for all concerned. Uh, we, that's why we continue to appeal to the public to be cautious if you're going to enter the ocean uh, anywhere along the coastline in South Africa. All right, Craig, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Really do appreciate it. Craig uh, Lambanon from the National Sea Rescue Institute.